Happy New Month to you guys. Just a couple of months to the African Cup of Nation kickoff, and clubs have been giving a deadline to submit the squad ahead of Africa's continental tournament. Ghana will be in there, but the deadline has been given. We'll be talking about it today. The upcoming World Cup qualifies. Let's talk about Nigeria and the possibility of Roger Nigalo and Lukman joining the Nigerian Super Eagles. We'll have a look at all that today. As usual, subscribe if you have not, and click on the notification bell to get more updates. So, CAF have given a deadline to all countries to submit their list for the African Cup of Nations set to take place in Cameroon. In January next year, CAF have announced that clubs have a deadline, uh, which we are going to look at today. And uh, now, CAF have said that barely three months to the kickoff, uh, the African football governing body has given participating teams a deadline to list provisional teams for the tournament. 24 nations will be part of the competition, bringing it down to 28. Uh, five more players can join the squads so quite interesting to see what happens there african cup of nations looking forward to it today is also november and you know me what that means next year around this time all countries will be preparing for the world cup we would have known which country will make it into the world cup world cup qualifiers are set to take place in a couple of days time and uh, the final two games for african qualification before the playoff places next year uh, will be taking place from the 10th of November uh, running out through the 16th of November and uh, in light of that Nigeria Super Eagles are set to recall a player who re retired after 2019 African Cup of Nations Ordeo Nigalo and bringing a new face in Lokoman. In an interview with ESPN a former Manchester United and Nigeria striker Ordeo Nigalo mulling a return indicated that he could make a return back into the Nigeria Super Eagles squad ahead of the World Cup qualifiers this month. The forwards retired after the 2019 African Cup of Nations where he finished as the top scorer. He said he has not made any decision yet despite being contacted by both officials from Nigeria. They have been in contact with me about the possibility of coming back. Amaju and the coach, he told ESPN. I don't know. I have not said yes or no. I haven't made any decision concerning the national team. It is not the first time Igalo, who has 16 goals in 35 appearances for Nigeria, has been approached by Nigeria to come out of retirement. Ro has made no secret of his admiration for the Al Shabaab striker, who is enjoying a good form in Saudi Arabia, uh, with eight goals scored from nine appearances so far this season. In March, Igalo also said he was considering the offer and would make a decision. But in June, he said in an interview, he saw no need to come back with the team's young boys doing so well. However, Raw told ESPN there is a possibility Igalo would be included in the squad for next month, which is this month's final round of World Cup qualifiers. The final list is not made yet, he said, but there is a chance to get him back. I put him in a bigger provisional list for the next games because he is very important with his experience and his goals and I hope he can come back, but we will see. He has still ambition to help his country. Raw's confidence stems from the conversations with the striker. He convinced to play on after the World Cup in 2018 when the player wanted to retire in the wake of some violent criticism from the fans. He gathered the on and went on not only to finish as top scorer at the AFCON with 7 goals, but 5 goals in Egypt also saw him emerge as the tournament's Golden Boots winner. Rom remains a big fan of the forward and has always insisted he would like him back in the squad despite a surfeit of attacking options in, at his disposal. He added, we have a lot of good strikers, uh, young strikers like Osimhen, who is number one for us. But we don't have anyone like Igalo. He feels everything. He can smell around. He can smell everything. He's special. And with his experience, he can help us and help the young ones. The NFF president, Pinnock, has also spoken with a forward uh, telling ESPN, I had a long conversation with Igalo. Uh, personally, I believe we need experience in our attack to combine with our energetically youthful Osimhen 
call on Wachu, Keleche and Nacho et al. Audience body language is very positive. We are also in touch with his agent and the club. Since Igalo's departure, a Napoli striker Vitor Mosiman has picked up the slack leading the line for the Super Eagles. Mosiman is still our number one, but Igalo will come back. His mentality and maturity will help Mosiman, will help the others, and will help our team. The news of a potential return for Igalo has naturally led to some backlash with questions why a top team heavy with forwards would need another when injuries have wiped out the midfield and the team struggles to move the ball around. Another issue there for the Nigerian Super Eagles. Ademola Lukman is excited also about fighting for a shirt in the Super Eagles. Uh, Pinak, uh, the president of Nigerian Football Federation, says he loves Nigeria. By his grace, we shall, we shall conclude the switch soon. And the 24-year-old has represented England at the youth levels and is currently on loan at RB Leipzig. So Lukman, uh, Igalo, uh, both players could be joining the Nigeria Super Eagles in this upcoming World Cup uh, qualifiers uh, that the squad list will be announced in this week. I am pretty sure that that, that is it there. The Nigeria Super Eagles looking to recall Igalo make the switch for Lukman to join them in the squad are you excited by that if you're a nigerian fan would you be open to having that those two join your team in the upcoming world cup qualifiers let me know what you think in the comments box on this one and afcon uh, the list should be presented to CAF by the 30th of december 30 trim down to 28 i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day have a great week